Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Hardcore Hardcore Minecraft where we're going back into the nether and we're going to continue trying to get down to where the... Oh god, ne it's not, is it netherite? I think it's netherite. Or netherite is supposed to be. And the question that I have on my mind is where does netherite spawn? Mostly in the y-axis of 8 to 22, but it can spawn less than 8 to 119. Aha. Okay, so right now it's 8 to 22. But we need to go back this way a decent little bit. Okay. I feel like it would have been beneficial to actually go down the other way. How is it going to be best and easiest for us to get down? Because I'm thinking the best place to drop is going to be right over there. The real game plan right now is to pop this apple in, get out, and start going over that way a little bit. And if we have to kill a skeleton in the process, we, we just do it. And at this point, I'm just kind of winging this. I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit more, probably right about here-ish. And then I think we could start going down. But this is, this is just complete guessing. Okay, we just need to go forward a bit more. But I think we're on the right track. Now, notice when I said I wasn't holding my breath. Yeah, I'm still holding it. Got some more gold. This journey is worth it for just the gold alone, even though it's a little frustrating with the damn lava. And I think, there we are. We are at level eight, baby. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be possible or not, but sure enough, here we are. <laughs> damn, does it feel good. I didn't think we were gonna get down here, honestly. I mean, we're below a lava lake. All right, so this is something to note. Apparently, gold will only spawn from 10 to 117. So, and they generate 20 times per chunk. So it's, it's pretty widespread, which is a good thing, but it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to find it on the same level of the um, netherite. So what I'm thinking we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go ahead and just try. Sorry, losing my train of thought here. Trying to get it back in the station. Um, uh, we're just gonna do a straight line on level eight and digging up to 12. And we're just gonna see what happens. And we'll just go on a straight line until we can't know more. Just like that, we already have gold, like already. That's pretty much it for all she wrote for today. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the overworld, take the gold with us, go ahead and check out how much gold apples we got now, and uh, we'll be calling it a day. It's really nice to have the gold down there though, because as we're strip mining for the netherite, we'll be able to have plenty of gold for golden apples and potentially later down the line, notch apples, but we do need gold for a beacon as well at some point, or iron or anything really. Now let's go and hop on over here. I think we're clear to go ahead and grab these out. That's so much gold. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it this way where 41, holy, Dear God, how many apples? That's five more apples. What? Hot damn. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Damn it. Okay, okay. Now he's just a dick. Now, if I was to pop this apple in. Oh. Oh, baller move right there. Baller move. Uh, that worked really, really well. Okay, really quick, in that thick That was so much sugar cane. I do want to pop a second one really quick, though. Because I don't like us being down that low. Two hearts, I can I can stress 
I can be a little stressed about being down four. No, no, thank you. Even though we could pop another one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hard pass on that. Oh, there's another raiding party, and this time they're not glitched. That's lovely. That's that's just fucking lovely. <sighs> All right. That is going to do it, though, for this episode of Hardcore Hardcore Minecraft, everybody, where we have a solid plan in place on survival. Oh, boy. Getting that much gold from Fortune off of the pickaxe going down there. That is what we need to do for a little while is just try and get some netherite armor going. Um, get the fire protection, the regular protection, and blast protection on that stuff. We need to get that going now. Uh, I still need to figure out just how much fire protection, how much blast protection, how much regular protection. Uh, projectile protection I'm not too worried about. But just how much of that we all really need to worry about. And then from there, we'll go ahead and start really doing the enchanting. But I'm super happy with how today went. I think we got a good strategy in play. And I will see you guys back in the next episode.